All right, what's up? We are back at Formula Drift Japan, Ibisu round two. The borders have opened, but now to get out of New Zealand, I've had a long hiatus in 2018. It's the last time we're up here and we won the championship. So um, yeah, maybe a big target on my back, but I'm not really feeling the target. I was just, just the excitement to be back. Man, the welcoming was absolutely incredible coming back through the gates. Yeah, and so I cannot wait to see what the course layout is today from the judges. There's been talk that there's a few changes. So yeah, let's see what they got and bring it. You Team TCB Magic is back. Man, that's a very challenging course to be able to get to outer zone two and then smooth across. Ah. Sore. Very sore. But in the car, I'm not thinking about it, it's okay. All right, so one of the things I love about Japan is the freaking fans. And from being back after, I don't know, a two, three year hiatus, Yoshimi-san, he, you guys, they would have seen Yoshimi-san. He does the incredible replicas in one tenth scale RC drifting. I've been RC drifting with Yoshimi um, in Tokyo before. He's invited me out with his friends and his crew. Arigato gozaimasu. Ogenki desu ka? Ogenki desu ka? Yes. <laughs> Ma massive Lincoln fan, as you can see. Don't forget about Mad Mike. And of course, he's always got gifts. So this is the thing when I go home, I've got to pay for all this extra carry on. So, boy. <laughs> so, here you go. Trouble to literally have just about the entire collection. So this was the project we built last year in real life. Incredible. Kampiki? Uh, Kampiki, yes, <laughs> Kampiki. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Sugoi. Oh, Sugoi. He's completed the Mazda 3 before we completed the Mazda 3. Oh, Sugoi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Mad Cop has done the replica. Look at that. Can you see the attention to detail? It's just crazy. Little stack pipes. Still got a diffuser on. I think I've already whacked the diffuser off this morning. <laughs> This man is amazing, but let's see how he is going to do here for his first qualify run after not competing here for the last two and a half years. Here he is coming up to the 3 2 1. Coming into outer zone one, real hot out of outer zone one here, trying to carry it through to outer zone two. Trying to finish strong here into that outer zone three, knocking that pylon down. He filled the zones pretty, you know, full uh, throughout the track. There so you go, 83, 83 for his first go. qualify run. Yep, very loud car, very aggressive driver. He Exciting said that, to watch. He said in the last two and a half years, not much has changed. They just rebuilt it, but here he is. Ooh, nice outline. Getting in the right spot, holding a little bit, leaving it to outer zone two right there. But there he is, through the transition to outer zone three, placing the car where he wants it to be. A beautiful job on that second half of the course. These drivers are de definitely picking up. There you go, 87. So going to keep that and bring that in. Hopefully that'll be enough for the top 32 spots. All right, what's up? We are at top 32 today. Sanjuni, 
Uh, so yeah, really looking forward to getting out. We've had some practice this morning, a few practice runs. I'm freaking saturated. Atsu, it's so hot out here. Um, but yeah, feeling good. Super challenging course that they've laid out with the outer zone number two. Because naturally you want to come flying down, big flick entry, get on the gas, which shoots you back to the inside clip, power around to an outside zone. However, that's all changed. Now you go through the outer zone uh, number one, and then you've got to try and leg it all the way to a, it's quite unnatural, but you've got to get out to an outer zone number two. So it's uh, freaking super challenging to chase, just because a lot of cars are trying to e-brake all the way out to the zone, uh, if you're not coming in with that speed and commitment. So try not to get that excitement level too much, um, and over too much adrenaline, and then make mistakes. Uh, but yeah, feeling good, car's good. That was nerve wracking. We're sitting there. We got a red light. I don't know. I didn't even see a red light, so I just ran the whole run and then uh, come across the finish. And then uh, yeah, I can't really hear. I don't know if Shane was calling out, but I can't hear anything on com when this thing's at full screen. So yeah, completed the section, and then Shane's like, "Bro, it was a red light." So we had to reline up. And then um, fortunately for Saito, he had um, an issue then, which then allowed him to take a five-minute timeout. Um, to restart the entire battle. So he was able to get his car fixed, meet us at the line, but it was the most nerve wracking like five, 10 minutes waiting for him. You know, you've usually got this routine where you do your scrub box, blah, 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 put yourself in the zone, rock up to the line, good to go and send it. But now when you're sitting there for five minutes, you're thinking about what you had for breakfast that morning and I don't know, all sorts of stuff going through my mind. So it was a pretty rough, rusty run to be honest. My lead run threw it in and he missed out of zone completely on out of zone two. Um, and then yeah, out of zone three missed that, but fortunately we were able to put in a real solid chase, um, which yeah, gave us the advance into top 16. So yeah, we've got a bit of a break now, calm down, freaking get myself in the zone, because man, like I said, that five minutes was rough just sitting there on the start line, but good to go. Car's freaking sweet. At least we know now, because we did three laps to a set of R1Rs, because I did the, the red light run, and then the lead run and the chase run, and we still had just a little bit of rubber left. So yeah, car's feeling good, suspension's good. Uh, yeah, team of checking everything over. A few panels that I've kind of hit a couple of the outer zones with, but yeah, good to go.
cool, Varric's three. Suga, domo arigato. Hai, see you next time. Matane. Oh, tomoko! Oh! Oh, domo. Domo arigato. Every time. Every round. Hands down. Every single, every single event in Japan, Tomoko is there. My number one supporter. Man, what a wild weekend out here at Ibisu. Um, super challenging conditions in top 32 today. Uh, course layout, just I found it hard to get the flow, but the biggest problem I had today was myself and mental focus. I was just, yeah, overexcited, overwhelmed by the response, man, from all the fans out here. The drivers, man, the welcome I got coming back to Japan. Oh, I haven't been here since 2019. Um, last time we were in Formula D Japan, we won the championship in 2018. So it's been a long hiatus. Um, but yeah, so pumped to be back. But there was just all that excitement that I just, yeah, couldn't manage and just drove a little too wild today. Today I was going back to my old style of driving 110%, which is great for the fans, man. It was epic to entertain. Um, but yeah, need to notch it back a little bit. Yeah, get back into it. But yeah, car is freaking wicked. The new tour R1R was incredible um, with the new re rules and regulations. It was really the only change we had to do to the car. Um, but yeah, arigato gozaimasu, team TCP Magic. You guys freaking rip. Thank you, all my sponsors, Red Bull, Mazda, um, TCP and Toyo Tires, man. Incredible team and allowed me to come back up. So pumped. Tatemo tanashimi desu for the next, next event out here in Japan.